We have been coming here since 1973. 1973. And I couldn't come full time till we actually retired. But we we come here every winter for all the years. Uh, my sister lives in Venice on the island, and we just loved it here. We like the downtown. You like the alligators. And ever since 1973, you've been coming to Venice. Yes, we have. Nowhere else in Florida. Well, we used to go down to the Keys for a couple of weeks, and then we'd come up to Venice and, and stay here a couple of weeks, and then go home. So you just like this area enough that you decided you Not want to, to make this to the Keys home anymore? We just came straight, straight to uh, Venice. Because for a while you were coming down here just for seasonally, right? For right. the winter. And we bought a place here. Uh, we actually only came here for three or four weeks at a time. The uh, we actually bought a uh, park model in Comus, and the rent for the year was $1,600. So uh, that was affordable for coming here for four weeks. Prior to that, we, we rented a, uh, a bed and breakfast, and it cost us $2,100 for three weeks. So we figured that was the best way to go. Yeah. But what made you decide to come down here full time and not live in Illinois anymore? No. <laughs> uh, taking care of two places. No, plus. Cold. Plus. No, the cold. There's more to it. Yeah. Yes. That was yeah. my reason too. Yeah. And it's sunny all the time here. It's yeah. beautiful. It's green. It's not gray. And... So you guys don't regret coming to Florida full time, right? Just miss family. That's the only thing I regret. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same for me. I talk about that too on the channel, and I tell people the same thing, you know, like I miss home in that sense, and, you know, missing family and the simpler life as far as that goes, but I don't miss, you know, the gray and the six months of winter oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Six? Yeah, it's nine months More now. Now. <laughs> It's still cold. It's 51 degrees up there. I know. In the 50s. Whenever I'm checking my weather map on the phone, Belvedere, Illinois is the coldest place on the map every single time. That's what I always do. I, what's the weather in Crystal Lake, Illinois? Yeah. 51 degrees. You know, even though we, we can take from Punta Gorda to Rockford, it's very good there. Yeah. I could have gone there for $66 a round trip. Oh, wow. About four, four weeks ago, three weeks ago. But, you know, you say you're going to do it, and you just never do. You never go on Unless you have to or... Well, now it's tough because you have to fly with the mask and all that kind of stuff, and people are sick still, and it's... We're not flying anywhere either. That's why we drove around the state yeah. like this, That's and we didn't want to fly anywhere. You know, we could because people are doing it, but we don't want to, you know? We, we knew we were going to do this because we prepared for probably two years before we sold the house. In Illinois. Garage sales, and then we had an auction sold sold everything except our bedroom set. We sold everything. Everything. My bobcat, my... How did that feel? Eh, I missed it, but... What are you going to do? I thought I would miss it more. When I saw the stuff going, I was like, you know, because we had a lot of antiques, and we spent a lot of time looking for those things, but when they went, they went. It was just like, eh. So it wasn't that hard to give up that life whenever you actually did it? No. No. Once the stuff was gone, the only bad thing is... We didn't have any furniture, and our house didn't. Uh, what happened? Uh, the, the other guy that was going to buy our house had trouble with his house selling it. Something to do with a septic. So we had to wait an extra what, two weeks, something like that. So we didn't have any uh, furniture in the house. We had nothing. No pots and pans. No plates. Nothing. Well, so we here in this house. The other house. Oh, the other house. Up north. When we sold that. Because we so, had an auction, we sold everything. So we ended up going out to a friend of ours' house and babysit because he ended up being in a hospital. Mm -hmm. So we watched all his animals. He had horses and, and uh, chickens and you name it, he had it. So we ended up taking care of that while we were wow. waiting to get our house sold. Yeah. And then when did you move down here full time? 14, right? 2014 yeah. wow. and never look back. Nope.
Me neither. <laughs> so, well, what about living back here with this beautiful yard you guys have and the wild animals? Well, I love it. We, in, in up north, we had two and a half acres. And we had a lot of animals. And I always said, that's what I missed. But you know, we had deer. Still, I've seen bobcats out here. Snakes. Oh. So All you guys enjoy the nature of Florida here. Yeah. You don't mind the alligators. You don't mind the snakes. No. All this... A lot of people are terrified of that. People ask me all the time in the comments, oh, how many times a day do you see gators or snakes or whatever? Exactly. We have a pond a block in away. Pool. Inside of your pool, yeah. they say. And I was fishing one day and caught an eight-foot gator. Wow. Or he caught me. He got in my line and started doing that death roll, and I ended up cutting the line. But I was thinking if a kid was at the shoreline or something, that would be kind of dangerous for him. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been, I've been getting used to eating that snapper plate from all these restaurants, so I'm going to have to come back over here and you have to teach me how to do some more fishing because I'm going to have to start catching it. They charge like 35 bucks a plate for that in Miami. Crazy. I kind of miss fishing. But... You don't fish anymore? No. Why not? No boat. I sold it. But they have the fishing pier right there. Mm -hmm. I know. Too much work? I said to her today or yesterday, I got to start going down to the shore or something. We've got to do something. We just don't do anything. Since yeah. COVID, you just sit around looking at each other. Yeah. But one thing I like about Florida, and maybe it was because we were at the campground, the park on the way at, we met so many people from different states mm -hmm. that I, it's just awesome. I mean, we know people from Maine, Rhode Island, and stories. Yeah, yep. just Montana, everywhere. Like, it's just a so bunch of them neat. just just left. You know, you're in Illinois. That's all you know. Is people. Exactly. Oh, a bunch just left from New uh, New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. Wasn't it? Yeah, and we played volleyball for two weeks with them. It was it was great. They, they rented a uh, pontoon boat and had us go out on a pontoon boat. It was really nice. In yeah. Coastal. So what do you guys do for fun? Besides, like, if it wasn't for COVID, had he, like, what were you doing around here? Well, he plays tennis and he plays tennis. Uh, like, oh, I just hang out with girls and we go shopping or go <laughs> movies or, you know, That's cool. swim, whatever. Have you guys ever heard of the Villages? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We were just there a few days ago. We were there. It was fun. What? It was you really can, fun. You can get up there with you if you want. In fact, we weren't even sure if we could stay there or not because we, we know it's a 55 and villages? older. Yeah, at the yeah. villages. And we stayed at the Waterfront Inn, beautiful which is a beautiful hotel they have on the lake over there. And we went into the town center over there, which is walking distance to the hotel. Everybody was having a blast. They had live music over there. Dancing, the restaurants, the bars, everything was happening. Everyone is so friendly. I mean, for a retirement community, I was like, that wow. Huge. Yeah. These guys are really having a good time here, you know? Mm -hmm. That was really That's surprising to see. When you get older, you know? yeah. yeah. We have friends, but we don't But well, the only thing summer. I would miss was like the beach. Yeah, yeah. there's no beach. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, I'm sure you. Yeah, we like the beach. That's yeah. another reason. Yeah. That's all the problem. Is cool. they don't have it. I don't blame you there. I mean, we're spoiled too. We live right on the beach, so, you Did know. you like the water that you need? Yeah, we liked, we it. liked it. Although I have to say, the, the last time we were on the Gulf Coast, we went to Clearwater Beach and St. Pete. It wasn't good at all because they were having the red tide over oh, here then. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, a couple so, years ago. Couple years. Yeah, we don't have that problem by us. Even today, when we went to Siesta Key, they had a warning by the beach that said, you know, there could be red tide present, but there was a million people at the beach, so, you know, it wasn't an issue. I figure that the sign stays there no matter what. Yeah. yeah but we haven't had red tide since I can't well, remember. Probably since then, I think. That was 2015 we were there, maybe? Something like that? Until yeah. they fix that dam that goes to uh, the Everglades. There's a dam that, that they haven't had open for a couple of years. They're, they're supposedly working on it. I don't know if they are or not. Well, we definitely liked it over here. I mean, we like the Gulf Coast beaches too, and we definitely like that you get the beach all day because the sun sets over here. And I'm I'm not a morning person, so I wake up late, and then you miss that in Miami. The sun's already halfway over your head, you know. So. Did you go to Siesta Key? Yeah, we were just there today. Tomorrow we're going to be going to Sanibel Island and Pine Island and Fort Myers Beach, that whole area. And that's going to be the tail end of the trip. Yeah, tomorrow's Tuesday. And, and We've been to Naples yeah, before. Not that far from our place 
Yeah, it's only a two hour drive from Miami, so I'm not too worried about covering that on this trip. And plus, we were there before and we were not that impressed. Like, there's not much to do there. Really? Yeah. Huh. Didn't we go on sand all night? Wasn't that good? Yeah, we went to yeah, sand. We weren't. Luckily, I expected sand and to be really something awesome the way people got by it. Yeah. It's like being on our yeah, I mean, when you're beach people like us, I guess, you know, every beach starts looking the same. Like, I don't know how many beaches we visited already, but the only thing that really changes is kind of like the atmosphere of the people there and the sand, basically. Although, the water up by the panhandle was a lot colder than down here. Really? Significantly colder. Yeah. Yeah. They've been having like 50 something degree weather too at night. Yeah, it was pretty chilly at night, but I like that. It was nice. I mean, that's part of the reason we were thinking about moving to St. Augustine because we like it. it's a little bit cooler up there. It's not as hot. And if the hurricane happens again, we can get out. George is right there. It's easier just to drive an hour away and you're out of harm's way, you know? Go west and then north. And... Exactly. And I think at night it turns down more on summertime than... Yes. But the homes are too expensive but they weren't two years ago. That's the crazy thing. But I think that's going to change. You know, I mean, I've been in the real estate business a long time, and it seems like what's happening there is people are just trying to capitalize on the prices now. People who were thinking about selling, it's like, well, now I can ask a fortune and get it. But there's not a lot of inventory for sale, which means that a lot of people probably aren't interested in selling. They want to stay. And I think if they they keep selling, then that's going to lose its charm, you know? It's going to lose that small town feeling right, right. that they have over there. We were there, we were there a, years ago. I don't think we really did much there. I mean, we were driving down here, so we probably were in a hurry to get here, too. Yeah, that's been one of my favorite that's areas. That's what we should do sometimes, is just go around, around. Drive yeah. around Why not? Why not? Yeah. You have no reason not to, right? I know. We did just accommodate, I guess. I have to tell you. We're going to Georgia in, in uh, August. Georgia, but that's still, we should do more than just once yeah. in a while. Ever since we got down by the Clearwater area, you know, we visited Dunedin and Clearwater and all these areas in between here and there. And oh, this whole area is very nice, you know, yeah. between Bradenton and, and Clearwater and down here by Venice. It's all very nice over here. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't gotten that well, that crazy yet with, like you know, the crowds and too many people and things like that. Don't tear it up. Everybody can hear the, like, radius. Nine? Nine hundred? Nine hundred homes. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. 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 I just feel like it's coming, you know? Like, hopefully you guys are prepared for that mentally because it's probably happening, you know? Unfortunately. He is, it's crowded. he's one of those that drives like, uh, trust road rage person. <laughs> I said, some days I'm just going to shoot you and I hope I'm not in the car because I'll probably get it before you know, will. <laughs> There's so many beautiful places here in Florida. It's kind of hard to decide. Like if you want to go somewhere else, you know, where's a good place to go? Because there's so many nice places. It's tough to decide. He said, well, where would we go because the traffic here in the season, I'm sure it's bad everywhere. England. Yeah. Not going inland. No way. No, I know. Back to Illinois. There's no air. If you go to Ocala, it's just like being back in Illinois. We yeah. were there. We were there. Where at? Ocala. It's just like being in the middle of Illinois, but there's palm trees. Yeah. <laughs>